Hey, what's going on guys? It's Tubaplay Negative AE and welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa V3. Last we left off, we had gotten two items, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and open this, uh, with the, this, Octobrush. See what we get. Oh, dude, that's cool as fuck. And we get another staircase up. That's real interesting. So we got a fifth floor. How big is this school? Hmm. Yeah, that's exactly what I just asked. How many floors does this school have? This school must be huge. Okay, this looks... This looks very interesting. This is this looks like the coolest fucking room in Danganronpa ever. Look at this room! I'm making myself dizzy by looking at it, but look at this room! This room is fucking crazy! So this is a completely different feel from the fourth floor. That door over there is just plain suspicious. Could it be... Oh. It's like an ultimate lab. I should check inside. It's Sumugi's ultimate lab. Okay. Dude, this floor is like the coolest floor. Why is there a school there? It's like an amazing event venue. This must mean this is the ultimate cosplayer's lab. Jesus, what's happening in the background? This is a set for photo shoots, huh? It's a bunch of backdrops here. This is an incredible setup. What do you have to say? Um, even with all these materials and tools, if it's by myself... I see. Cosplay is fun to do with others, right? Yeah. There's no point in doing it by myself. Do you wanna try? Hey, Shuichi, do you wanna try? Come on, try cosplaying with me. Yeah. Me? Yeah, I think it's just plain fun to become fictional characters. To become a completely different person and feel like you're part of a different world. Right, right? Doesn't that sound interesting? Don't you wanna live in a fictional world? What? I'm investigating right now. Right. Then let's do it later. Let me know when you feel up to it. I'll help you become your favorite character, whether it's from an anime, manga, or game. However, even if you're just trying it out, you gotta cosplay with love. Okay. Interesting. Another set for photo shields has a gothic feel. It's like a bar, is it a set too? Well, what do you... What do you know? It's just like the real thing. Suugi spoke cheer cheerily and sat down on the table in front of the counter. Hey, Suichi, are you thirsty? I can make one of my signature cocktails if you'd like. Signature cocktail? Yeah, it seems like all the drinks here are top quality stuff. Don't worry, I used to make them a lot at my part-time job. It'll be non-alcoholic, of course. Okay, I'll take one. Clink, clink. How would you like it? A little stronger, maybe? I mean, if it's not alcoholic, it's not strong at all. Sure. Wow, you're good at this, aren't you? Yeah. Before I got sponsors for my cosplaying, I worked a bunch of jobs. I used to say to my customers, I'm in a bit of financial trouble. If only someone could help me out. <laughs> I suddenly feel charitable. What kind of part-time job should she have anyway, mixing drinks like this? She's a bartender, what the fuck? Those thoughts thrilling around my head, I drank the drink Sumugi had handed Shuichi. to me. Please come again. Okay. Wow, she has a voice line for my name? Shuichi. Yes, I'll be back. I have a feeling like she's gonna be like the center of this. Alright. That's cool. What's down this hallway? Hallway, fifth floor. Dude, this room is so fucking cool. This room is so cool. Alright, let's go this way. Ooh. Hi, Maki. There's an angel statue and a demon statue next to the stairs. Don't chapels usually have these? Yeah. This place makes you feel like there is no god, but then... 
there is. And there's this. Uh, is that coincidence or just Monokuma's sense of humor? So, what's this? This is my lab. Alright. It's the ultimate detective. This is my lab. It looks so weird. That's true. This looks like your research lab. Okay. It is, right? Uh... Let's see what's in here. But I'm getting a bad feeling from this place. A bad feeling. Why? Oh, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do triangle. Chemical shelf? That's why, because there's chemicals. Bottles line the shelves. The glass door. Are these. It looks like poison. So you think so too, huh? There's no way that can be normal medicine in an ultimate detective's lab. Yeah, I know what some of these are. They're definitely poison. In that case, we should try to dispose of them. We don't want anyone accidentally. If we, even if we got rid of them, Monokuba would just replace them. So it's useless doing that. It would only be a temporary solution. She wants to make sure no one will ever use them. Even so, I'm surprised that so many are in here. There's poison for instantaneous death as well as ones that conflict various symptoms. Depending on how you use them, you can set up different gimmicks. This doesn't feel like an ultimate detective's lab, more like a criminal's lab. It's a fine line when it comes to knowing everything about crimes. I suppose that's right. It's a fine line between criminal and detective. I mean, kinda. Doesn't look like there's anything except two cases. Bookshelf. There are a bunch of files lined up. Looks like about 50 of them. What are these files for? Picked up one at random and flipped through it. Freaking Rocky's face, man. It contained photographs of the murder scenes and tricks culprit use. culprits use. What is this? I hurriedly looked through the other files and they were all similar. It's a file containing all the tricks used for murders. Pierce, so. Uh, did this incident really happen? I can't be sure, but there are pictures of the scene. And all these cases seem feasible. Feasible, huh? Well, this would make a good guideline to anyone who wants to commit murder. Well, I doubt that stupid. I doubt anyone's that stupid to use a file that's accessible to everyone. Maki picked a file at random and started flipping through it. This file doesn't have any photographs, it's all just drawn illustrations, but. Maki began pulling files one after another off the shelf. The newer files have photographs, but the older ones have illustrations? But why? Are the old ones just fictional? The first few files have only illustrations, but the others have photographs. Is there a reason for that? We have investigated all the places that concern me. Everything has to, here has to do with death. Well, that is your job as a detective, especially in this killing game. Yeah, I know. The only time I can use my detective talent is after someone dies. A detective can't save anyone. I'm only useful after it's already too late. Why are you so upset all of a sudden? Do you want to die? You killed me just for that? Nah, I understand why Maki Roll would say that. Your face looked pretty gloomy. Hey dude, you still dying? Kaito. With a face as gloomy as that, I can't believe you're my sidekick. Keep your chin up. Be more proud of yourself, Suichi. Everything you've done up until now is amazing. Okay, that's true. That's why you should be careful. What do you mean? You don't know. Because of how well you did in the last class trials, future culprits will have their eye on you. The next culprit might come after you. I thought they would eliminate me first. What do you mean? So the, the problem with this, right, is no one would not eliminate the ultimate detective first. You have like a massive target on your back if you're ultimate detective. I'm gonna protect the both of you. It's a hero's job to protect his hide sidekicks. What if I end up as a future culprit? Are you stupid? That's impossible. How can you believe in people so easily? Didn't I tell you before? I believe in the people I want to believe in. 
And if they betray me, that just means I made a bad call believing in them. Of course, you're one of the people I want to believe in, Maki Roll. By the way. Why are you even here? Did you finish playing tag with Kokichi? I lost track of him. I can't find that guy anywhere. Couldn't find him, but he still has the motive card key, right? Yeah, he should still have it. It's a good chance that Kokichi could have used the card key and gone somewhere. Well, he ended up getting away, but look what I found. Flashback light. Oh, you found one. I'm worried about Kokichi, but I think we should deal with this first. So let's all gather together in the dining hall. I'm coming too. Wait a minute. There are other places I want to check first. Can I meet up with you later? Yeah. Uh, I'll, then I'll go ahead and go on to the dining hall. You're not going to check this place? I'll let Chuichi handle it. You got this, right Chuichi? Yeah, right. Once you're done, come to the dining hall. You didn't even complain. You were seriously are his sidekick now. I can't even argue with that. Alright, so now that that's all done, let's go to map. I know where the next place is. It's... I had to go here and go outside. There's like a cutscene that plays, I think, when I go outside. Something to do with outside. There's even less green than the last time. There's still maintenance going on. Hey. So what's the deal with this place anyway? What kind of facility was it before? Are they renovating an old facility? Or perhaps constructing an old, a new building? At the start, Monokuma said they were supposed to be facilities for us. That's obviously a lie. That plush bear is stuffed with lies and shit. It's hard to imagine they built this entire facility just for us. Right. I also think that Monokuma was lying. He's an exceptional, dis exceptionally deceitful uh, being. Um, being? Well, he's a robot, isn't he? That's robophobic. Suichi, have you been a robophobe this whole time? No. no, that's not what I meant. But when will we finally learn what this Ultimate Academy really is? Why does it exist? Is it really just a place for us to have the killing game? It looks like it's a simulation, to be honest with you. Alright, uh, where on the map is this? Looks like it's way down there. I need to go put this stone somewhere, wherever it goes. Okay, going to what? Hey! Show yourself. Where are you hiding? Come talk to Gonta. Gonta, you're looking for Kokichi. No, not Kokichi. Bugs are. Gonta see tiny bug. No mistake this time. It definitely fly by Gonta's eyes. Hey, bugs! Your bugs come out again. Gonta just want to talk. Tiny bugs again. Gonta's t been talking about them for a while. I'm sure he's interested as the ultimate entomologist, but the memory of the insect meet and greet is still raw. So I think, uh, so there was like that thing that he found, right, that was, uh, that said, this world is mine, Kokichi Oma, right? Isn't that what it says? And so like, it's quiet enough that no one's yapping a two of this, a two of that anymore. I knew that fucking midget was running a goddamn cult. I mean, if there really was a god, he'd obviously make me, the gorgeous girl genius, his chosen one. That kooky fucking bitch. <laughs> I like me. I, uh, I'll be sad if she dies. Although I have a suspicion that Kibo's next. We haven't come across Kokichi at all. I wonder where he could have gone. If he's not in the courtyard, is he inside somewhere? Probably right, right but apparently Kokichi is quite good at hide and seek. If he's serious. The keycard is obviously to the bookcase, so he's probably in the bookcase. We should lay dust on it. Why do you look so surprised? Uh, uh, no, it's not me. How about this? Please tell me. You don't need to hesitate after all we're friends. Well, I just thought perhaps a robot could find a human. That's robophobic. Suichi, you're not even trying to find your, hide your robophobia anymore. Anyway, Suichi, 
That black object over there looks suspicious, doesn't it? The one with the red border? That black object looks suspicious. This one? Oh, it does. It does look suspicious. You're right. <sighs> you right. I like these cutscenes. They're putting a lot more cutscenes in this, and I like that. Oh, Jesus. Lord. That's, uh, that's the robot place. The buildings just combined. What did you do? <laughs> what did you do to my lab? It's going in super deep. Oh, fucking me, dude. She's funny. Ever since... Ever since she was looking for medicine, we're like, what are you looking for medicine for? She's like, I'm looking to get super fucking high. <laughs> I'm positive this strange building is an ultimate lab. She's just so blunt. Uh, from the machines and the sci-fi feel, I could deduce... I deduce this is Kibo's lab. I'll check inside. Let's see. Let's see what Kibo's lab looks like. I have a feeling he's next. Looks like a maintenance room for a robot. There are machine parts everywhere. This is definitely Kibo's lab. Alright, so what do we got going on? Wow. Zero. You got zero going on. What's going on? Like, I literally can touch nothing. Whose lab is this? Isn't it yours? I don't want this. I don't like this sort of sci-fi technology. Can we leave now? But I imagine a lot of things in here would help really help you out. You should take a closer look. Or you should take a look. Uh, no, I do not want to be assisted by sci-fi technology. We shouldn't rely on the power of sci-fi for anything. Wouldn't that include you, Kiba? That's right. Anyway, I would prefer a more Japanese theme since I like that food the most. Unfortunately. Even though I can only stare at it. So how could you prefer the food? <laughs> At the very least, I'd like some Kimi... Kimi knows... Fucking, uh... Kimi-nos. And... I don't know. Okay. I know I completely but botched... I cannot speak today. Uh, yeah, that would be nice. Uh, but it doesn't seem like Kibo is going to use this lab. Well, he's free to do as he pleases. Nothing I can do about that. So this is Kibo's lab, but he doesn't like it. Alright, that was weird. After a time, everyone had gathered in the dining hall. Are we just going to the dining hall? Straight there. Good. Good, good. Not too many people left. Looks like everyone's here. Let's get started. What about Kokichi? Forget about him. It's his fault for messing around like that. Guess he must be a real pro at hide and seek. I magically looked all over the school, but he was nowhere to be found. Magically? No one can find him, huh? He might have used the motive's keycard to enter a place we're unaware of. You think that's where the real motive is being kept? Either way, it's worrisome. Next time I see him, I just gotta catch him and ask. Anyway, let's try out this flashback light. I'm still uneasy about these flashback lights. Are they really okay to use? Well, if we don't use them, our memories will never come back, you know? So we've got no choice but to use it. The memory we'll get from this is our only clue. Seriously? I agree with fish dicks over here. <laughs> who are you calling a hunk of breaded fish? Uh, for s someone who looks like canned tuna, you make some pretty good comebacks. Hi, Kokichi. Who you calling a wad, a wad of shredded fish? What was that? Wait, Kokichi? Hmm. I knew you'd find us here, but only because it's you. You got me. Thanks for the compliment. So, why are we all merry? F why are all my merry friends gathered here? Is that all right? First things first. What did you do with that card key? Ah. Oh, so you're worried about that? Well, relax. Unfortunately, I couldn't use the card key. Huh? You couldn't use yeah. it. Yeah, I had no idea where to use it, so I just gave up but instead. Give it to me. 
I know exactly where it, it's freaking used for. You don't seem too disappointed about not being able to use it. I am disappointed, damn it. I wanted to use the card key. Smell another fucking lie. Whatever, talking to him's a waste of time. You know... If he can't use it, he should give it to me. Well, I've got more important things to do. Oh, the flashback light. Let me see that. Are you going to smash it? Kaito doesn't have the balls to turn on the switch. Of course I do. Egged on by Kokichi, Kaito thumbed the switch hard. Once again, the world warped. Are we going to see my butt? Got this firm ass butt. Here we go. Ah. Oh. It's too much, man. The scenes flew by inside my consciousness. And what it all means. All at once, I, I remembered. The meteors. What happened with the meteorites? I remember TV news, internet, talking non-stop about those meteorites. There was a bunch of damage where I lived and people said it was only a matter of time. A researcher said that too. Similar meteorite impacts happened millions of years ago. All living organisms on Earth were annihilated. There were also a bunch of weird groups that started to show up in the streets. As the meteorites, As the meteorites got worse, more people started saying it was the end of the world going to hear that too unless someone does something world will end those people were always handing out flyers on street corners I saw flyers all over the city too they said mankind deserves damnation I remember seeing those posters but And the meteorites. What ended up happening with the meteorites? That's... We haven't seen any since we got here. Maybe they died down? What? Then what happened to that plan? The one to save the world from the meteorites? Oh, right, I just remembered that. It was called the Gopher Project, right? It was a plan that all countries of the world came up with to save but... humanity. I remember that too. But the Gopher Project? Didn't it fail? What? Is that true? That's true? That's what I heard too, but I can't remember why. What does that mean? So we can't remember anything past that again. Okay. I can't either. I don't remember anything about the gopher. <laughs> Mankind deserves damnation. Huh? Me? <laughs> Mankind? <laughs> what the fuck? Deserves damnation. Fuck that. What's going on? We're already damned here. Being stuck here with you losers is the worst hell there is. Ew. You losers part wasn't necessary. Shut up, I'm tired of this. Let us out of here, let us out. Come on, don't leave us in here. Pull us out. She seems really upset. Mew, calm down. It's okay, Gonto will protect you. In the end, the flashback light didn't help. It didn't connect the other memories. To the other memories. The ultimate hunt that was after us. Our deaths. The meteorites, the cult organization, and the gopher project. How are they all connected? And how do they relate to the ultimate academy? And what happened with all those meteorites? Did they just stop? Shuichi. It'll be okay, Shuichi. Just a little more. Huh? See? We probably just need one more. Everything will start to connect if we remember one more thing. One more thing? What is Kokichi? But... But I don't think I'll be surprised by the outcome of this situation. Like, if we were actually all dead and this was the afterlife. Always messing around. Why you quit saying stupid crap like that. Uh, it's not stupid. If meteorites can happen, then anything else can happen too. Because... Come on, you're an astronaut, aren't you? Space is full of mysteries that we can't even fathom. That's why, if the meteorites really did fall on us, anything could have happened. A mysterious virus could have spread, or some weird technology. Or even an unknown substance brought to Earth that could have bent time and space. It's like science fiction. I thought our theme was magic. 
That's just your theme, Himiko. Come on. That's stupid. It's just like setting the setting for some third rate anime or game. <laughs> Do you think I'm making this up? Uh, then how can you explain the flashback lights, Exels, and even Monokuma? It's not third rate. Come on, Danga Rampa. Uh, we may be used to it now, but the kind of stuff that goes against common sense, you know? <laughs> Which means it wouldn't be too far fetched if any of the things I mentioned actually happened. Shut up. First of all, I'm the only one here who gets to talk about my space. Bad. Oh, right. My, sorry, my bad. What did I do? Whatever, just. Hurry up so I can get out of here. Stop, you shouldn't think like that about getting out of here. Everyone seems tired. We should probably disperse for the time being. <laughs> you finally learned to read the air. Nice job, robot. I'll commit that to my memory bank. I'm learning every day. Hey. Uh, before we go, go to put manhole cover back how it was. Cause Gonta gentlemen. If we want to challenge underground again, this time Gonta definitely. You're so dumb. No one's dumb enough to challenge that dump again. Don't look down on hard work. Himiko, you've really changed. Is what I'd like to say, but working hard at escaping from there is pointless. <laughs> no matter how much you've changed, of course you'd think that. We can't keep going like this. We need to find a way out. I need to solve all of these mysteries. It has something to do with Kokichi Oma. Um, for sure. Like, I'm 100% sure that message says this world is mine, Kokichi Oma. Are we in, uh, free time right now? Oh, dude, there's a... Is it? It's no use. Is that... Damn it, why don't I... I don't understand what's going on here, but I can't give up. I need to keep my promise to Kaede. I need to find the truth. What's happening to us, why we're forced to play this killing game. Anyway, I've still got some time today. I can't stay still. Not now. Alrighty, okay. Um, so this is our shelf. We already have this Monokuma. Okay, whatever. Uh, we haven't been really looking for Monokumas, but nor do I, I really care about Monokumas. Okay. So, let's go to somebody. What are our gifts currently? We still haven't found one... We Carter people should not chew it. I don't know what she would like. I maybe she'll like bubble bomb, the bubble gum. All right, let's go find Maki. Where is Maki? There's Miyu in the warehouse. Where is she? by my ultimate detective lab. Hi. Hey. I do think that once we find everything, it'll all connect. I don't want to agree with Kokichi, but it certainly feels that way. Hang with Maki for a bit. What's your opinion as a detective? Do you think our scattered memories will make sense? Spend time discussing our memories. Okay, please like the bomb gum. What? She doesn't like anything, dude. Please. Got a minute? What? Fucking A, dude. Maki. What the fuck is wrong with you? Why don't you like anything? She doesn't like anything. Uh, uh, it's already nighttime. Fuck. What does she like? This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. Also, if you're leaving comments telling me what she likes, I I'm playing this way far ahead of hand because I gotta return this. So um, I probably won't get until the very end. All of your comments that are saying this is what she likes this is what she likes um that being said i'm determined to figure this out you can't just blurt out something like that i never thought about you this way before 
Hey, when did you worm your way into my heart? What are you gonna do about this? We can't, we're family, you know? You can't forget that. I need you, Mono Fanny. I want you, Mono Tara. What the fuck is happening? What was that? No point in worrying about the Mono Cubs. Point for training. Alright, I haven't done it in a long time. To the courtyard. Let's just leave. Yeah. I don't know why I pressed triangle there. I didn't really need it. I'm just going out the door. I go into. I'll talk to you, see what you got going on. Hmm. Go into. Shuichi, you should go back to room. It's nighttime. Thank you. I promised to meet up with Kaito and Maki. Oh. To see. Oh. Angie's gone and student council not around anymore. But Gonta still think it not best to go out at nighttime. Cause Ryoma got killed at nighttime. And Angie You're too. Right. That's true. But the promise I made to Kaito is really important to me. I can't break it. I promise I'll go right back afterward. And I'm sure we'll stick together. Oh. Gonta careless just now. Gonta not know you made such important promise to Kaito. Gonta so useless. Uh, um. No, no, not at all, Gonta. Don't worry about it. We all know how much you care about us. Are you okay? Gonta? <gasps> Soichi, Gonta come to decision. What have you decided? Um, well... No. Gonta will tell everyone tomorrow, when everyone gather. Gonta will sleep tonight and prepare for tomorrow. Man, it sucks. I'm not making enough leeway with Maki because I don't know what she likes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna spend next episode looking through all my items and like looking at what she might like, and then I'm gonna come to a conclusion. You're here, bro. It's been so long since the three of us has done this. It's because Kaito was scared of ghosts. I wasn't scared. Wait, don't make me think about them. When I first met Maki and Kaito, I never could have imagined hanging out like this. All right. Anyway, let's get started. First off, 100 sit-ups. You guys better get pumped up. I kind of wish I started on Maki way earlier. Because this is hard. Three of us lined up in the grass and started our routine. One, One two, three. He's not even an exercise. Hey, talking, more working. What about your sit-ups? Kaito. Kaito's dead, dude. He's dying. Kaito stood up slowly, his body hesitant. Sorry, gotta use the bathroom. Kaito slowly began walking away towards the school building. I wonder what's wrong. He's not in much of a hurry for needing to go to the bathroom. That's true. You want me to go check on him? I just finished my hundred sit-ups. Huh? What? Already? But... but maybe you shouldn't go, because it's the boys' bathroom? Hmm. Did that not occur to you? you to Do you want it to die? Sure, well, it's fine. By the, way. By the way, this seems like a good time to ask, but... Well... Did you like Kaede? Huh? Well, I assumed you didn't, because that would be weird. Uh, um, what do you mean, weird? I don't understand. Liking someone you just met? Especially in a situation like this? Then... Tell me under what circumstances is liking someone not weird? Huh? I don't know. I don't really understand what that is. Nope. Never mind. Just forget I asked. Forget you asked? Why did you bring this up, Maki? No reason. I was only curious. Maki, you're being cruel. You ask me a personal question, then you act like you don't care? Hey, were you guys making out while I was gone? Perfect timing as always, Kaito. Anyway, what's wrong, Kaito? Why did you leave all of a sudden? Drank too much water before training. I... But I emptied myself out, so I'm good now. Let's go! So let's continue where we left off. Let's get pumped up for sure this time. 
continue. I don't recall you even doing one yet, Kaito. So from the beginning, of course you guys are going to restart with me. I already finished doing my 100. Don't be so cold. No road is long with good company, right? I don't think this phrase applies to this. Let your sweat wash away all your sadness, fear, worry, hardships. Just start moving your body and your pain will become memories before you know it. Then you should train too. Well, I don't have anything to worry about. Because, I mean, I'm Kaito Momota. Luminary. Hey, no fair. Luminary Kaito. Of the stars. <laughs> He's done a, he's, he's close to death. In the end, Kaito convinced us to do sit-ups over. Uh, but Kaito and I had to give up, and only Maki was able to finish. I hope it doesn't give me more free time. I'm so tired. A lot's happened today, but there's still something bothering me. That flashback light this afternoon. All those meteorites. The Gopher Project. The mysterious cult organization. Are they connected to the ultimate hunt? Or the funeral? Or the killing game? Those answers might save us. Um... I, I don't know why I skipped that. Thinking about everything I saw, I'd fallen asleep before I knew it. Wait. Uh, it's all a mystery. Have you ever wondered why soccer players have numbers on their jerseys? Never. It's how many mochi each player gets in the red bean soup they get after each game. I don't know. It worked. It's much too work for the guy who's making the soup to check each player after the game. It's much easier to check during the game when the number is still on their uniforms. Uh, they can just prepare the red bean soup during the game. Uh, and then the red bean soup will be ready to eat as soon as the game is over. And if players want a different number of mochi, they can just trade jerseys with each other. You know how after a game, players will sometimes trade jerseys? That's how they exchange the number of mochi they have to eat after the game. But for baseball jerseys, the number is how many pieces of meat they get in their goddamn it. And as for volleyball, it's how many pieces of sliced pork they get in their ramen. As you can see, jersey numbers vary greatly depending on the sport. Um, this has been the Random Trivia Corner brought to you by Monokuma. How, we, how long are you going to keep crying, you annoying bitch? You know how busy I am with band practice, arcade games, and pachinko? Now give me some money. Hurry up. Please don't kick me in the tummy. You can hit me in the face all you want, though. Just leave the money on the dresser and get out of here. So nice. I have forgotten all about the past. Did you forget that I'm forgetful? Come on, hurry up. No, not the tummy. What happened to them overnight? Well, I suppose it really doesn't matter. I should head to the dining hall. Alright. I was hoping for more free time, but... dining hall. Uh, who's this over here? Oh, it's Maki. Maki, what do you got to say? Hey. Maki, good morning. Good morning. This is a bit awkward. Kaito's obliviousness last made me... Obliviousness made me last night. Made last night is weird. But the way she talked about it like she didn't care, that got to me. Hey, about last night. 
You probably assumed I didn't care. But that wasn't it at all. Was it? Detective. You're not fit to be a detective when you assume things without listening first. What were you trying to do? Why did you bring it up? Alright, to the dining hall. Girl, I don't care about you, mage girl. Dining hall. As soon as I entered the dining hall, I heard a loud, loud voice echo through it. But we gotta do it. If not now, then when? It's impossible. Like I said before, it's reckless. There are still two Exels, right? What? Going to know that, but no can forgive. Watching friends disappear, seeing everyone get weaker. Going to no can take this anymore. That's why going to go fight Monokuma. Huh? Fight Monokuma. Ah. Suichi, good timing. Talk some sense into him. Gonta's saying a bunch of reckless stuff, and he won't listen to us. Gonta wanna help everyone. Gonta know it reckless, but the only way to save everyone. <coughs> Wanting around, or want waiting around, and doing nothing, just make more victims. Jeez. That's why Gonta gotta risk his life. Real gentlemen would risk life. Gonta do his best. Gonta gladly give up life to save everyone. Come on, man. Gonta, I know how you feel, but don't you think you're getting ahead of yourself? Yeah, it's reckless to fight against them barehanded. Really don't get it. More like meaningless. You shouldn't do that. Well, you know. And even if you do do that, it wouldn't stop the killing huh? game. Huh? Why not? Hmm. Actually, why would you even want to stop the killing game? It's just starting to get fun. It'd be a waste to stop it now. Why? You guys are all whack jobs. Is something wrong with your heads? Shut up! Something's wrong with your head. Ah. Don't tell me. You guys aren't confident enough to win the game? You're so dumb. Jeez. If you're really that much of a weenie, then you might actually lose, you know? But in my case, I'm full of confidence. I'll win this game no matter what. Win the game. What is it? Are you planning on becoming the next Blackened, then? Me, the next Blackened? <laughs> yeah, sure, if that would help me win, then I'd do it. No. Are you serious? Yeah. Of course I am. Games are only fun when you play them seriously, right? How exciting! So come on guys, let's enjoy this more. It's not often you get to play a killing game, you know? So who's gonna be the next victim? <laughs> game can't continue until there's another victim. So, someone start the killing already. If you don't, then I'll come with, kill someone instead. Just like I promised. Got it? That's enough! Why wow, you... that's enough. Kaito shot at Kokichi like a bullet and... Bam. Kokichi, what the hell's gotten into you? You were messed up to begin with, but this is a whole nother level of weird. If you keep acting like this, I'm gonna knock your senses back into you. Um, you already hit him. Kaito, please stop. There is never a good reason to commit violence. Even minor aggressions can lead to atrocities such as murder. Kibo got through to him. Kaito dropped his clenched fist. Fine, I'll stop for now. But Kokichi, I hope that whole stupid speech of yours was a lie. Maybe... Maybe going to have to do it. If friends are going to fight like this, then going to go fight Monokuma. You can't! Like I said, you can't. Please don't do anything reckless. Ah. He's gonna die and not have anything happen. Yeah, that's right. No need to be so reckless. Huh? The only thing you should be reckless with is that tree trunk dick of yours. Hmm. Is what you would usually say. But what's with the uncharacteristic and saying? You know. I'm serious. There's no reason for God to, to go to, to do something so reckless. Booyah! That's because I, Miyu Aruma, well, the gorgeous girl genius, what's will save that? you all. Save sure. us. Got it? Just wait a little longer. I'll bring you to a world where this killing game doesn't exist. Huh? World where the killing game doesn't exist. <laughs> You'll just have to wait and see. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll keep my plan a secret. I love being a tease. Gross. I've got a bad feeling about this. Okay. Yeah, me too. 
After eating breakfast in that awkward atmosphere, we went back to our rooms. More free time? We're gonna go talk to Maki again, we're just gonna keep giving her items. I wanted to save his friends. I think Miyu is the same. What about me? All my friends die and all I can ever do is solve their murder no. if it's over. It has to be something more I can do. Okay. Here we go. Come on, Maki. Where are you at? Where are you at? Maki's in her lab. Let's talk with her. We're gonna give her a gift she likes this time. If we can find just one thing that she likes. She liked, like, the grips, right? Hi, Maki. Listen. Seemed like she wasn't talking about going to the outside world. Should I hang out with Maki for a while? Yes. Well, it's coming from her, so I'm pretty sure it's just nonsense. Spend some time with Maki. I have to- okay. Grew a little closer. Would you like to give her a present? Yes. Let's give her something she likes. We have these, which- you know what? Let's give her this. A minute. I didn't think I would get something like this from you. But I have nothing to give in return. Oh, she liked that. Okay, good. Hmm. I didn't know that assassins were scouted. It's better if you didn't know. There's also no need for you to know. But... Gathering children from orphanages? I couldn't believe it. Hmm. Do you want me to surprise you even more then? The orphanage I was raised at was run for that reason. What do you mean? To raise potential candidates as assassins. You don't know? The cult donates to the orphanage as charity. That's believable, right? The amount of work I put in is the amount of charity given. That's how the exchange goes. Hmm. How much is Maki, Maki carrying on her shoulders? Such small shoulders. I remember correctly. You said you were taken in by a man. Did he raise you? Are you asking if he raised me as an assassin? No. no, that's not what I meant. You don't need to be so serious. That man scouted me in the training facility. I remember saying that your training the training was quite harsh. No matter how talented you are, a child is still a child. Basic training forces your body to go beyond its human limitations. They physically beat us up to help withstand torture and taught us how to die when needed. How to die? Because. The only option left when you fail a mission is to die, right? Dying sooner is the nicer way out. It's much better than being tortured alive. So you were trained to withstand torture? What do you mean? Would you like to hear what kind of training we endured? No thank you, I'll pass. Can't bear to think of what Maki had to go through. After they tortured us, all I could do after was just stare at the room ceiling. They tried to break me during training, but I was still there. They tried to drag my dignity and tear it to make me feel empty, but even then I found myself. And then they would do it all over again. It would have been strange if I broke during all the torture, but even so I tried my best. I wouldn't have accepted the job in the first place if I knew I couldn't do it. But most importantly, if I broke, then that girl would replace me. That girl? Sorry. Sorry. Pretend you didn't hear any of that just now. Shut up. Fine, just pretend. Okay. Alright, we got three. Can we get a fourth? Reeling, reeling from Maki's incredible story, I returned to my room. We need to get five. So we need her not to die or commit a murder here, and then in chapter five, get free time again, and then get another one. Oh gosh, and there's like less people left, so anybody could murder now. All right, there's still time left. So we go hang out with Maki again. Uh, how much time is the episode going on for? 
Oh, dude, we're good. Oh, dude, right here, too. Let's go here. We'll hang out with her again. We'll just give her the next thing. Because uh, she likes oolong tea, so that's good news. Is she over here? She is. Hi, Maki. Does Kokichi really plan on becoming the Blacken? Maybe you should be more careful about letting him into your research lab. Lots of poisons in there, so... Yeah. That's true. Should we go back and check on your research lab to see if anyone took anything? Also, we can stand watch if anyone tries. Spend some time with Maki in my lab. Grew a little closer today. Definitely. Give her this. She like cake too, probably? Okay, she likes drinks and cake. I would like... Didn't think I'd get something I have nothing to give in return. Is that okay with you? You look like you want to ask me something. I do? Well, whatever. I told you to pretend like you didn't hear anything. Because I can't take back what I said. You're wondering who that girl is, right? She's a close friend from the or orphanage. A close friend? Why do you look so relieved? Oh, I do? Yeah, you do. It's gross. Gross. I'm just glad that you have a friend like that in your life. I see. So that's why you're making a gross face. Back at the, orf back at the orphanage, I was a normal kid. Is she angry about something? I'm sorry. It's fine. Then what did you mean about when you said she would take your place? Scouts had their eyes on her first, not me. What? I had enough talent, but she had even more talent. She was very kind. A crybaby who easily got lonely, but tried to be strong. If she had been taken into such place, she would have lived her life crying forever. That's why I volunteered to go. At the time, I had no idea what was in store for me as an assassin. But I endured the training. If she had gone through this, she would have died. That's why I was so desperate to do my best. So she wasn't just doing it for the orphanage, she was for her friend as well. Being with her was really fun. We would wear matching outfits, bake sweets, and exchange them. We would get in trouble with our teacher because we would talk late into the night. We played house often with the other kids at the orphanage. She would play as the mom and I would play as the dad. Neither of us knew our parents, so the only thing we could do was imagine it. Maki. Can't even imagine. Of course you can't. There's no point in imagining it. But honestly, I can't see myself laughing now like I used to back then. One more, guys! We almost finished a friendship person! That's my goal for this gameplay, right? Is like, just finish one person. Just, I, that sounds real weird. I just want to finish one person's uh, friendship tree. Or friendship flower. Deep down, Maki's just like any of us. We got one more, guys. Please do not kill her in this class trial. I will be beside myself with anger. If if she is either a murderer or murdered, I will be beside myself. This is an announcement. This is an official announcement from what's this place called again? What time is it right now? I forgot. Actually, have I always been alone? I forgot that too. I can't remember. I feel like I used to have someone very important to me. I can't remember. I knew it. He's helpless without me. Poor Monotara. I will be beside myself with anger. Alright, time to go do the training. Kaito and Maki should be in the courtyard. Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button, I really appreciate it. Also subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, we're getting into the meat of chapter 4. We've went through all of the free times and stuff, so um, we will see what happens on the next episode. Thank you guys, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out, you guys.